Greetings to all. We are going to go into the twin soul unions. This is marriages, shacking up, those type of situations, living together, okay? Um, however, this is a follow-up from the twin soul unions that are actually separated um, that I just recently did that you can still be within a marriage or a committed relationship, common law, however, that um, you can actually still relate to that message. However, today we are focused solely on those that are in union within house, okay? Within the union of house, the joining together. So we're going to see what's going on here, okay? So we're going to start out first with the tarot to get your energy and their energy. Do also keep in mind that energy can flip-flop. Okay, so take and move and shift because you are a shapeshifter, transmuter of energy, an alchemist, and switch the pieces in the place where they belong. So, let's get into it. Oh, my thing went out. Wait a minute. Hold up. It went out. One moment. Click. I do desire that everyone is doing well. And you know all that jazz. If you so desire. The smoke will clear. Oh, they reminded me. You're coming in with a song. They reminded me. Thank you for that, okay? What you won't do, do for love. You tried everything, but you just so done. I don't know all the words, okay? But that's what was coming in, and they just reminded me because I heard it. I heard the song reiterate in my inner ear. So, let's see. Divine, the feminine female and the masculine male. All right. Feminine female. Without the feminine female, that's why she's first, is because there would be no male if there was no feminine principle. Okay. Masculine. Masculine male. Masculine male. Twin soul union. Six of cups. Soul, that's still soulmate. Sharing. So the energy of the feminine female is definitely sharing, trying to share. It's almost like a party. It's almost like a celebratory party. It's like, yeah, the three of cups. The three of cups, the three and three, where more than one come together. They look like they're having a party, and they're and they're just like, oh, you know, they're just being goofy. Oh, what's in my cup? And they're like, you know, five. There's five present. Change. The change. So the feminine female right now is going through some type of um, change within your flow, in your happiness, within this union. You're trying to find the ways of compromise. This is bringing in the Six of Pentacles energy as well. Trying to find, trying to find the creative way of compromise. And then the masculine male. Oh, he's in discovery. The Knight of Cups. He's discovering his cup. 
the cup of his eternal, eternal, internal essence of truth. There's more to that, but let's get a little more. Let's build a little more um, here. He's mesmerized in something. The Six of Cups, there's six cups present here, but there's five people. Over here, there's one person with one cup that makes the Seven of Cups. That's the illusion. But then the masculine male actually brings the sixth person here to this. So he's trying to, to learn how to, it feels like, maneuver through the matrix. With, with the way the energy is coming out, it's like he's trying to learn how to maneuver through the matrix. Through the illusion. I heard of the past. The past that is still present. There's a level also with the masculine male where he has let down certain guards as well to actually start the investigation process within his own cup of love. Let's see, what's going on? Let's get a little more on what's going on. Feminine female. What does your Six of Cups express? The lion and the fish. Hmm. That's the individual with the cup over their head. You have the fish and the lion, the four of cups, and the six of pentacles. Six of pentacles. I was just thinking six of swords, but it's the six of pentacles. We have the fish, the four of cups, and this is represented by pentacles, diamonds, money, monetary. Okay, the pinnacles, but the lion, something within some type of uh, financial, financial, are you searching for solutions within the financial situation that your union may be in? Are you trying to research and learn different uh, crafts of your hands, um, second income, sources of income to bring a level of balance. But this lion is standing on defense. It's almost as if you receive some type of bad news as well for some. And this is what you may be soul searching or searching out to see where the creative idea, because the water is also the connection of the omniverse. So it's like you're, whatever you received physically within your mundane, it's like you're trying to tap into source to be able to get the solution that is best for your situation. Because the four of hearts, the four of cups, That's the three of cups that you just focused on. The three of cups that you just focused on of what was your happiness. But then it also shows the depiction of, you know, the etheric realm holding in the new cup trying to get your attention. And this is like what the masculine male is doing. It's like, okay, I see that. I see that cup. And I'm and I'm inquiring. So it's it's like y'all working in in union here to try to figure out what the heck to do about your it seems like financial situations in the midst of chaos, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of disaster. And I'm even hearing for some cleaning up some type of failure. The failure can look in many different ways. I'm just giving the word failure. All right, divine masculine, masculine male. 
What is your expression of your Knight of Cups? This is the delivery, the message of love, the message of union. What are you seeking out? Not seeking out, but what is your message that you bring? Last time. Yeah. Okay. As I and when I said last time, I could hear that this is our union. That's why two cards came out at once. So this is actually what y'all are enduring right now. You're trying to work through the facade. A lot of you are trying to fine tune, you know, some of um you're very protective. It's like very predatorial um, in regards to the things around you or the situationships that are arising around you. And it's almost as if, too, like y'all, feminine and feminine female and masculine male, are really trying to find its resources or its best way to handle or deal with something. Let's get a little more on this. It feels like a level of hardship, but it's not. <clears throat> Let me specify. Let me be clear. The hardship may not be money. The hardship can be communication. The hardship can be putting yourself in the other person's shoes or looking through the lenses of their eyes okay but there is a seek of something within the eternal cup of love which is of the omniverse through some type of challenge that y'all have been facing within your union whether this is your household challenge this can be family on the outside from both parts but there's stand that lion is foot like <clears throat> looking like and he's also facing He's also facing the masculine energy. The innocence of his cup. So maybe the masculine male actually made some type of wrong investment. Maybe in some stock. I don't know. And now he's really paying closer attention. I don't know how that flows. Maybe some of the feminine females are just sharing too much with others when the focus needs to be within the house, within the union. Let's get a little more on this energy. Supreme, Supreme Creative Source. The Page of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. I mean, three of... No, there's something else here. And the two of wands. We have the page of pinnacles. The two of wands. That's that childlike looking in. Because it says adventure, possibilities. And the three of pentacles guidance yeah y'all are trying to find the solutions trying to find the creative ways right now to overcome there's also something that someone within this union is foreseeing and you may not be exactly sure how to bring the information to your partner in which you're seeing or experiencing and, and it feels like because that's an area within them where they're still kind of immature within that level of thought or process within life and emotions. Um, 
No? Because this is also someone here, masculine, male, or female. I mean, yeah, I said that right. You're exploring and trying to see how you can take care of business without getting your hands dirty. Take care of business without getting your hands dirty. And I feel like the three of pinnacles with this guidance here is actually um, the way that you're seeking within source. That is the best way to find how to handle the dirty work without getting your hands dirty. This is not seeking on your own merit, but asking the cosmos to actually intervene to handle the situation for this union. Let's get a little more adventure. What is this adventure? Mm. With their hands not getting dirty. <laughs> my cards sometimes want to be my friend. Sometimes they don't. The strength and the nine of swords. Try not to get your hands dirty with the page. Yeah. Don't let your mind get the best of you. The strength and the nine of swords. Feminine, female, whatever side this energy is because it's all coming together. Yeah. Don't be all in your head about it. Don't allow the past pains because the six of cups is also here, which can be of the past reminiscing, reminiscing the nostalgia the old ways there may be some old things that are surfacing up but in regards to not getting your hands dirty this is really um just allowing the self to become in union with the beast within it's like i'm seeing it like taming the beast of your egoic self of the mundane world so that source can literally come in to remove because she's on the way out of the bid compared to a lot of the regular nine of swords and she's getting out of the bid as if she's been reading and 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 studying here and that's through the seek and she's playing with her her lock of hair over here as well like hmm so what am i going to do because the the hair of lock that she's touching is also the antennas that connect to the air of source. Uh oh. The possibilities. I don't know. I, I don't know why. Um, maybe she doesn't want to work today. I don't know. My little um, witch deck. Maybe she doesn't want to work today. Because I'm having the hardest time with her. Okay, I think I had a hard time in the other video or something I did where, I don't know, maybe me and many cards just aren't getting along myself. The two of wands came out with the two of wands. It's new, oh, with the seven of swords. Hmm. All I want to say is that the union here needs to be truthful with each other. If there is some type of baggage that you are holding on to that is eating you with like a parasitic nightmare because of guilt, it is time that you release that. It's time for you to make that choice and come together with your partner and admit to whatever this is that's coming forward with the seven of swords and the two of wands secrecy the hands dirty not getting the hands let source handle we have the hawk here or eagle here as well let source handle this and this two of wands is actually looking towards the feminine like okay you know this is in your hands 
you know, you're, because the perception is the holding in the hands. You see the lie, you see the deception, excuse me, but you have no proof. So this is truly, however this goes, this is truly something that is needed to be dealt with within source, with source. This is also giving me the feeling of someone's not returning the love that they feel. I'm, did I say that right? Someone here, you feel as though the love that you're putting out, the efforts that you're taking to be creative, to be exploratory, is not being reciprocated back, unrequainted, unequally yoked. There's something with unfairness that is felt here for who comes to this video. Especially with the Nine of Swords, with not getting your hands dirty and how to handle the dirty business without catching a charge from the Omniverse. I'm not talking about from the physical world. Who cares about them? But from the omniverse, from the cosmic laws. I don't know. And this guidance. What is this guidance? sucker was going to come up. We have the devil and the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles is here to clarify the guidance of the three of pentacles with the devil. This is this this is the bringing the 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 beast, taming the beast, settling the beast, the mundane modern world that you live and really allowing um, I'm hearing bygones be bygones in order to allow the harmony to actually come into place especially with the four of swords and the two of swords some of you are uneasy it, it's like there's something's on target I'm going to say that something's on target something's on target someone's here calling someone out or I, I, I can't put my finger on it because it's kind of crossing the energy is crossing because it's a lot of waters it's a lot of heart energy here but there's also a lot of pinnacles which means earth mundane and it's like bullseye like you hit it on the head you're you know what you know you know what you know but it's like now how do I take what I know that has been creating the equilibriums to be off balance or off kiltered because of the lies and the deception and the temptations within the world of the seduction of the devil. The tower. I don't know family. It's a lot of chaos, a lot of sudden changes that may be coming that you may have already experienced or already have gone through. But if there's someone here that has been questioning a truth or not able to prove a point about whether money or spending time, situation, whatever it is, it's going to come down. Everything's going to show itself. You just have to trust in the divine. Whatever you're experiencing within your union or questioning, wherever it is that you feel you need the help from your mate 
or trying to inquire from your mate, you're going to have to trust in the divine. You're going to have to trust in your intuition here. You're just going to have to trust. However these potatoes fall in your life, there's lots of love here. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of love here in this union. But there's a lot of mental conflict within the heart. And how to move about in the physical reality of life. Let's get a higher calling. Let's get a higher calling for this union here. Something quick with a tongue. I don't know if it's you quick with the tongue to blow off your mouth or fuse. I don't know. It may be them. This is like not taking the moment. There, It's just a reaction. But there's no thought process to connect to the heart. It's just straight come boom. Blast. I don't. Twin soul unions are not always easy. They're not going to be easy. Not in this suppression of this unhealed world that we are in. It's not going to be easy. But it will be. But you have to trust in that intuitiveness inside. What is the higher calling for this twin soul union? It's not too bad, but it's enough going on with the Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords and the Depth. Was. Okay. Twin souls in separation. Change. This came out. <clears throat> This is giving me the feeling. Then I said something about the change earlier with the five people that was in the card of the Six of Cups. This is giving me the vibes of the tower, the sudden fall. I need a little more with this change <clears throat> of the higher calling. Change cycle, change gear. Change transmute. I said change transmute alchemy it was something i said my heat's getting energy's getting hot and i turn my heater off i said something about alchemy something about alchemy transmuting the energy shape shifting the higher calling is you have to change the energy for what it is that you need it to be that is of the greatest good for both for both this I'm he hearing someone has to step and be the bigger the bigger picture wait a minute I'm not I'm not collecting that right the bigger person the better person in the situation there's also a level of surrendering in being the bigger person and know that however your situation is that they have their processing time that they need their processing time that they need everyone isn't processing as fast the mate may not be processing the information or the change as fast as you. Anything else, Supreme? The Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is at the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Wands underneath. With the Five of Wands under... And the Queen of Wands. What in the heavens me irky? Wands, wands, wands. 
the wounds of the individual, the wounds and the burdens of each other that's causing defeat and conflict and not being able to bring the inspired change that is needed in whatever your part is in your situation. Whether it's money, love, understanding, how to compromise, compassion, however that is, the queen. But this is all coming out. The burdens of conflict and defeat within whatever emotions. Better understand. Better communication. This is really how to implement the self. How to implement the self to where you no longer feel like a victim or feel like you're being underappreciated. So that way you as a union, because the 10 is the union, that the burden that is present to no longer be conflicted or feeling defeated within riffraff. Temptations, no longer being tempta temp tempted in the midst of temptation. What in the world, family? This really feels like there's a lot of outside interferences here. There's a lot of outside interferences in my unions. There's other people's energy that's in this union that doesn't belong here. I lost that one thought because when information comes in, it, it it comes in and then it just poof sometimes. But um, I'm gonna pause just for a second because It's a lot of unions that are still not willing to compromise, to come together to compromise, to assist within the release of whatever challenges, burdens, hiccups that you may face along the way that is really affecting the heart and the mind and the stability within the union. A lot of you are married or in relationships with intimate relationships with that are um, really contemplating on leaving. But you're looking at the investments. You're looking at the investments. This is for a few. You're looking at the investments that you have already. Um, You know, the investments that you have already, the adventures that you have already taken, where you have already been with the guidance, where you have already been. And it's like someone here specifically is really stuck in the muddle, in the midst of muck. And you're really trying to find your way. You're really trying to find your way out of it. You're really trying to find your way out of it. But for those that are in a content um, union, and there's just a few things that are missing. I don't know how to say this. It, it, it's like you're in union. Yeah, there's some things that are really good in your union relationship. But there's still something that is truly missing here. There's something missing. And you have to come together with your partner to really soul search. To really soul search what that is. So that no one has to be in the illusion to actually bring the necessary change that is required for the quality and the wellness of all that is involved. And this is the concluding message. I didn't anticipate the energy to change in such a way. But that's why I like to pull back layers. Because there's many different attributes to our relationships with people, with our lovers, with our husband, with our wife, and even with ourselves. And I would like to leave this um, message with you. But you are able to make the change that is necessary to transmute. You as a union have the ability to change and transmute anything that you do not desire 
within your union. This is disagreements. This is disappointments. This is feeling not feeling appreciated by the other person. However it goes, you know your situation. I'm not here to figure that out because this is not a personal reading. A personal reading, I will get down and let you know, show you the areas where you need to see, but this is not personal. Therefore, you have to uh, discern that for yourselves. And until then, I'll share.